Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve Windows 7 shutdown problems. So if you find yourself in a situation where your Windows computer is automatically shutting down without you prompting it to, this tutorial should hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle for you. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the start button. And you want to type in command prompt. And the best match that comes up should hopefully say command prompt underneath programs. You want to right click on it and then proceed to left click on run as administrator. And this should take a moment and if you receive a user account control window you want to select yes. Now into this elevated command line window you want to type in chk dsk space and now you want to enter your local disk where Windows is installed on. So if we open up our computer, if you're unsure if you have the C or D or E drive, you want to just left click on the start button one time and then left click on the computer tab. Whatever your local disk that is listed here, this is going to be your drive letter. So in my case, it's going to be the C drive. So wherever Windows is basically installed on. And like I said, CHK, DSK, then you want to have a space in there. And now you want to do a C or whatever your drive letter is that Windows is installed on. Then I'm going to do a colon, another space, forward slash F. So it should say CHK, DSK, space, C colon, another space, forward slash F. Once you've done that, you want to hit enter on your keyboard. And you will have to restart your computer in order to run this check disk scan. So you might be prompted you're going to have to restart our computer for to do that. So you will have to wait a moment and you're going to have to enable it to run the next time your computer restarts. So you want to type the Y key on your keyboard and then before you hit enter and restart your computer I'd recommend closing out of any applications you have open or any windows or screens you're working on. So like I said once you've done that type Y in here the letter Y and then hit enter and then restart your computer and then hopefully your problem should be resolved. So as always guys, thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.